Get ready for a high school action on the place for local sports, The Score. Brought to you by Central Maine Community College. More than just a community college, over 40 academic degrees and certificates, and one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Just go to cmcc.edu. Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, the dealer with no dog fees, where cars and trucks cost you less. Online at cmautogroup.com. By Hammond Lumber Company, serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Your building project partner, HammondLumber.com. Midstate Machine, looking for a career? Check out the Machinist Development Program at MidstateUSA.com. Whittemore & Sons, your coyote tractor dealer. Sales and service by a family that cares. Somerset Stone & Stove, offering quality gas, pellet, and wood stoves and hardscape products. 201 Tire Battery & Service, your tire and battery experts on the Augusta Vassalboro line. P.J. Diggs, the excavation pros. If it's dirt, they do it. Renewal by Anderson, award-winning replacement windows and doors. Schedule your free consultation today. Assistance Plus, providing home care, behavioral health, and developmental services. Together, we can make a difference. Joseph's Market, Front Street, Waterville, famous for fine meats. The Harry J. Smith Company, 13 Sanger Avenue, Waterville, serving the Central Maine community for over 100 years. And by Computer Improvements, Water Street, Skowhegan, your headquarters for computer maintenance. Now, let's go live to Mike Violet and A.J. Knight.
Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs are recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England, plus a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. Over 30 years ago, Paul and Jonna Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity, where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus, here for you today and through all points of your life. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow, and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy, because it's all about taking care of people. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical, and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone & Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love to have a gas stove or fireplace designed for your home? Let Somerset Stone & Stove design and install a Regency gas stove or fireplace that is just right for you. Let us customize your Regency gas stove or fireplace while you enjoy the beauty and warmth. Visit Somerset Stone & Stove in Oakland. When you
When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner.
Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Mistake Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits Midstate Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidstateUSA.com. That's MidstateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan, Sales and service by a family who cares. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. You gotta be here to experience it.
Randy Belanger purchased the Harry J. Smith Company over seven years ago, knowing his customers expected the same quality service as they have always received for over 100 years. With 10 bays and 12 employees, we can have most of your repairs done the same day. Whether it's on your car, truck, or RV, we can handle it. Just call us and let us go to work for you. The Harry J. Smith Company, 13 Sanger Avenue in Waterville, keeping your vehicle on the road for over 100 years and doing it the right way. Oh, please start. You wouldn't allow your car to bypass its maintenance, would you? Hey, Jen, would you look this up on your computer? Oh, I wish I could. This office computer is so slow. How about your computer maintenance? Trust the pros at Computer Improvements. They can come on site or stop by. Handling general maintenance, antivirus protection, hardware upgrades, and Computer Improvements can set you up with solid-state hardware memory, giving your operating system wicked fast response time due to less moving parts. So your day isn't like this. Contact Computer Improvements to schedule your service today. Computer Improvements, downtown Skowhegan. Nothing brings people together like good food. So when you're cooking for the ones you love, why trust anyone but Joseph's Market? Joseph's Market is famous for their fine meats. Plus, no one makes sausage like Joseph's. They have 32 rotating flavors like Mexican chorizo, teriyaki pineapple, or spinach and feta. So there's something for everyone. You know, an apron is just a cape worn backwards. So be a superhero at your next cookout with fresh meat and sausage from Joseph's Market on Front Street in Waterville. Find them at josephsmarketmain.com and like them on Facebook. No key in tires available at 201 Tire Battery and Service Route 201 Vassalboro, your complete auto center. Mechanics you can trust, no key in tires to keep you safe on the road. Plus, 201 Tire Battery and Service is a state inspection station. They have batteries and accessories, including custom battery cables available. And of course, those great no key in tires. 201 Tire Battery and Service, Route 201, Vassalboro. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. Maybe your existing system is failing or it's a new house lot. You need new installation. Call PJ Diggs. They can bring their site evaluator to design the right septic system. Headed to camp? Ditch the outhouse for a newly installed system. How about a septic system for your campsite? Imagine your own private campground. Already have a septic design? PJ Diggs can install it for you. Call 431-4299. That's 431-4299. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. One 31 Hinkley Road, Canaan. Are you fed up with high prices at the pump? Do monthly utility bills drain your wallet? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. The better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Plus, a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. Over 30 years ago, Paul and Jonna Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity, where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus, here for you today and through all points of your life. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy because it's all about taking care of people. Mike Violet, AJ Knight, as we are at Coney High School where Lawrence, well, the billing was that they were going to completely be able to Maybe push the uh, Rams around on the ground, and they have done absolutely that. They are up 27-7 to at half, and we find ourselves with them. Uh, no need to 
stop rushing at all because at halftime, they as a team have 35 rushes, 318 yards, four touchdowns. It has been a dominant performance by the Lawrence Bulldogs. We expected them to come out, A.J., and pound the football, and they have done exactly as we have expected them to do, and I believe unofficially they're over 300 yards for the night. Yeah, 318. Is that what it is? Yeah, 35 rushes, 318 yards, four touchdowns. Yeah, it's been an extraordinary night. Lawrence scored first in the first quarter. A 75-yard, excuse me, a 66-yard drive for the touchdown. Michael Hamlin went in for the score. It came at the 5.06 mark of the first quarter. Aaron Craig with the extra point. Lawrence led there by a score of 7 to nothing, and that was the score at the end of the first quarter. But in the second quarter, Lawrence ran wild. They scored early, and they scored often. They scored at the 36-second mark of the second quarter as Wilson went in for the touchdown, a six-yard run, capping off a 63-yard drive. Craig's extra point made it 14 to nothing. Coney got on the board and seemingly back in the game not long thereafter, about a minute and a half after, as Morin hit Surgent wide open in the corner of the, not in the end zone, just shy of the end zone, right near the pylon for a 29-yard touchdown. Foster with the conversion. That was a 64-yard drive, and it was 14-7 there in favor of Lawrence. Then Lawrence scored the next three touchdowns, and they did it in rapid fashion. They scored automatic Santone, seven-yard run, 56-yard drive. Craig with the extra point. They were up 21-7, and then another touchdown. Preston Roy scored on a 10-yard run. Craig missed the extra point, pulled it wide left. That came at the 8.43 mark, made it 27-7. Lawrence had a last chance to score, but committed, actually did score. Touchdown was called back on an offensive pass interference penalty, and everything fizzled out after that. But 27-7, Coney will get the ball to start the second half on the kickoff, A.J., and it is imperative that they score here quickly. Yeah, I think a break there at the end as we see the replay here, yeah, as I watched this a second time, I think uh, Carter actually did pull um, Surgeon down. So a good call on that that PI, the OPI, which prevented them from scoring, though they did get a chance to chuck one into the end zone. I we're not down the line. I thought Coney, uh, I thought Coney picked down the fourth, picked up the fourth down on the drive before that, and they did not, and that would have been a huge situation because they had the chance there to drive, cut it to twenty seven, potentially to fourteen, with the ball coming here, but. Coney has to score to open up this third quarter. Yeah, they've just got to get their defense off the field. They have spent an incredible amount of time on the field here in the first half, and their defense absolutely has to be worn out. Halftime is brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company, serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Your building project partner. Find them online at HammondLumber.com. Let's take a look at the scores from around the state. On this fourth Friday night of high school football, Bangor and Lewiston, a big one. That's tied at seven. They are late in the first quarter. Bonnie Eagle leads Scarborough in the second, seven to nothing. It's Brunswick over Lake Region in eight-man football, 12 to nothing. Chevris over Wells at the half, 14 to seven. Edward Little has a lead on Gardner. They lead him in the second quarter, 12 to seven. Ellsworth and Madinaw Cook are Scoreless, it's Foxcroft Academy blowing out Madison 35-0 at the half. Greeley over Mount Ararat 14-8 at the half. In the third quarter, it's John Bapst over Old Town 24-0. Kennebuck is bombing Deering 28-6. Deering's off to a good start. That may come to an end tonight. Miranda Cook over Sockabee Valley 27-6. They're in the first half there. MCI Hamden Academy scoreless. Madamic Valley Herman scoreless. Mesolonsky, we said it was a gimme, and it is. They're up 37-0 over Brewer in the second quarter. Running time happening there. Morse over Spruce Mountain, 36-8. In the fourth quarter, it's Mountain Valley over Camden Hills in the second, 8-0. No score in yet from Madison, excuse me, from Mount Blue and Skowhegan. It's Noble over Biddeford, 21-0. Orno over Bucksport, 20-12. Poland over Freeport. Here's a weird score, 22-2. And, of course, <laughs> there is a final in, and that's Portland over Falmouth 2 to nothing because of the forfeit by Falmouth. Elsewhere, it's Sanford over Marshwood 42-6. to South Portland bombing Gorham in the first half 28-6. to 
Stearns over Holton, 26-6. Thornton Academy and Wyndham. Wyndham's undefeated, but may not be for much longer because Thornton Academy is rolling ahead 21 to nothing at the half. That is a surprising score. Dirigo and Fox, excuse me, Trape Academy scoreless. No scoring yet from Waterville and MDI. That's a big game in eight-man football out in Bar Harbor tonight. And finally, it's Yarmouth over Grey New Gloucester in eight-man football, 16-6. to six. So a big scoreboard tonight. Yeah, here, though, what matters most, Lawrence on top of Coney, 27-7. And I think one of the things, too, Mike, that Morin has played well. Uh, just to give you some quick stats, he's 13-18, 117 yards, touchdown. Um, Surgeon, 10 catches, 80 yards, touchdown, fumble, loss. And there's been a couple of deep balls that he's had, but unfortunately uh, just hasn't dropped him in. There was a one early to Surgeon. There was one to Demons. There was one to, I think it might have been two to Demons, actually, that just wide open. Just, you know, a little bit too strong or the receiver misjudged the catch. Yep, got to make those plays, and that is what's going to get you back in the ball game. But trying to slow down this Lawrence running offense, we knew it was going to be trouble. Mesolonsky pretty much had their way on the ground last week, and the same holds true here tonight. Lawrence has just shredded this Coney defense. Big gaping holes and long runs by a stable of running backs, A.J., yeah, uh, for Lawrence, they've had seven different players, six different players carry the ball. All of them have at least two carries. Uh, Carter leads the team, 13 carries, 103 yards. He's lost a fumble. And then Wilson, seven carries, 77 yards. He's scored. But again, Lawrence is a team at halftime, 35 rushes, 318 yards, four touchdowns, and a fumble lost. So a legit chance for Lawrence to run for 500 yards tonight yes. in all seriousness. All right, officials coming back on the field. The players are too. We'll come back with the second half in a moment. You're watching and listening to high school football on the place for local sports, Sports Radio 1160, WSKW, The Score. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical, and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone and Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love to have a gas stove or fireplace designed for your home? Let Somerset Stone and Stove design and install a Regency gas stove or fireplace that is just right for you. Let us customize your Regency gas stove or fireplace while you enjoy the beauty and warmth. Visit Somerset Stone and Stove in Oakland. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Miss State Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits MidState Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidStateUSA.com. That's MidStateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote Tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan, Sales and service by a family who cares. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. You got to be here to experience it. Randy Belanger purchased the Harry J. Smith Company over seven years ago, knowing his customers expected the same quality service as they have always received for over 100 years. With 10 bays and 12 employees, we can have most of your repairs done the same day. Whether it's on your car, truck, or RV, we can handle it. Just call us and let us go to work for you. The Harry J. Smith Company, 13 Sanger Avenue in Waterville, keeping your vehicle on the road for over 100 years and doing it the right way. 
Oh, please start. You wouldn't allow your car to bypass its maintenance, would you? Hey, Jen, would you look this up on your computer? Oh, I wish I could. This office computer is so slow. How about your computer maintenance? Trust the pros at Computer Improvements. They can come on site or stop by. Handling general maintenance, antivirus protection, hardware upgrades, and Computer Improvements can set you up with solid-state hardware memory, giving your operating system wicked fast response time due to less moving parts. So your day isn't like this. Contact Computer Improvements to schedule your service today. Computer Improvements, downtown Skowhegan. Nothing brings people together like good food. So when you're cooking for the ones you love, why trust anyone but Joseph's Market? Joseph's Market is famous for their fine meats. Plus, no one makes sausage like Joseph's. They have 32 rotating flavors like Mexican chorizo, teriyaki pineapple, or spinach and feta. So there's something for everyone. You know, an apron is just a cape worn backwards. So be a superhero at your next cookout with fresh meat and sausage from Joseph's Market on Front Street in Waterville. Find them at josephsmarketmain.com and like them on Facebook. Mike Vile and A.J. Knights back here live at Fuller Field at Coney High School along with our videographer Galen Neal tonight who right now resembles the abominable snowman and apparently thinks it's cold here tonight. I mean, chilly. Are you maybe actually a, a native bit. Mainer? Yeah. What? This is embarrassing. I, I am embarrassed to be with Galen Neal tonight. <laughs> he is, I mean, he's got a hood on, he's got gloves on. Steel-toed boots, probably. I mean, full dress, and he's cold. I'm here in shorts laughing at the cold, AJ. So are you. I'm in shorts. I don't know that I'm going to wear shorts tomorrow to Winslow. I am. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to be outside, outside tomorrow in Winslow. So we will be. I think the projected high tomorrow is 64. That's, that's, that's really that's, supposed to be sunny, though, right? I, uh, no, not really. It's supposed to be kind of cloudy, but. I at least go into October and usually November with the shorts. So I'm not going to give up the ghost that easily. All right. We are back. Ready to roll. Lawrence ready to kick off. Aaron Craig has it teed up. Surgeons and St. Ons back to return. Coney needs a touchdown. Yes, in a big way. They trail it 27-7. The good news is they've got a full half of football to try and catch up. Pretty deep kick. Taken at the 15. That is by Anderson Noyes. Noyes breaks a tackle outside. And Noyes is up to about the 23-yard line. And it'll be first and 10. Coney trying to dig out of a hole. Trailing 27-7. Decent field position as they get up to about the uh, 34. So we'll see again. Coney needs, needs a touchdown. They need a touchdown. All right, first and 10 for Parker Moore, the sophomore quarterback. He's got two receivers to the left and two to the right. Back to throw out of the shotgun, rushed out of the pocket, gets rid of it, lobs it down. Man is open. That's Demons, 40 to the 30. A zigzag down to the 21. So Morin scrambles, avoids a sack. And wide open was Ethan Demons, the sophomore. And Demons is all the way down to the 22-yard line. That's a 45-yard gain. Oh, that's a heck of a... He's just wide open. Lawrence completely lost him. Like wide, wide open. First and 10 from the 22. Morin with St. Ange. They flood the right with three. Out there they go. The ball is caught in the right flat by Killian Arnold. Not much there. The Lawrence defense all over that. And Arnold with a gain of two. Yeah, for Coney, I think, obviously, we, you're going to want the ball in Surgeon's hands. But it's going to be so, I think, key for the other players to be able to step up and at least take some of the pressure or the coverage away from Surgeon. And Demons, like you see, take advantage of it, right? Surgeon gets all the attention. He was wide open. All right, second down and eight from the 23. Morin, left flat there. Surgeon, there's room out there. Cuts to the middle. He may go. No, he is stopped at the five-yard line. So, so dangerous in the open field. And Parker Surgeon is inside the 10. And it is going to be goal to go. First and goal at the five. And like you said, speed to kill. Lawrence was able to catch him. but that, First and goal that. at the five. Three to the left, one to the right. That's Arnold. St. Ange the running back. 
Handoff to St. Ange. Power slips up. Ball's up. And it's recovered, I believe, in the end zone. It is. It's a touchback. St. Ange, that one was actually a forced fumble. That one got stripped out from behind. So St. Ange gets blindsided. The ball in the end zone recovered by Lawrence. It's a touchback, and the Bulldogs have it at the 20. Last thing you needed, Coney had all the momentum. A fumble by St. Ange. And all that momentum kaput. First and ten for Lawrence. From their own 20-yard line. Change of possession. Clock stops here, 10-29. Third fumble loss for the Rams tonight. Cannot turn the ball over against Lawrence when you're as shorthanded as Coney is tonight. And Hamlin's going to keep it himself. Cuts back, breaks a tackle, has room to the 35, and Michael Hamlin rambles up. He is out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Give him 16 at a first down. Nice job there. St. Ange had a chance there to keep that to a minimal game, but a nice cutback by Hamlin. Hamlin showing... Himself to be a very effective runner. Yeah, he's already got 51, car- 51 yards on six carries. First and 10. Lawrence operating at its own 36 with a 27-7 lead. And what you want to do now is exactly what they're doing. Milking the clock on the ground. Run this game out. On first and 10. Man in motion. Handoff fullback. Veers off the left side to the 40. It's either Craig or, excuse me, it's either... That was Santone. Santone or Martin, one or the other, and it was Santone there. Santone 20, Gage Martin 11. The fullbacks gain a four, second, and six. We are at 10 minutes to go in the third. Credit to those fullbacks, too, as we've seen tonight, handing off the ball, a little bit of an adventure, and they get that, and they're in the line of scrimmage immediately. Second and six from the 40. Last man through the hole is Gavin Wilson, and Wilson is close to the first down off the left side again. They put him down at the 47-yard line, and that'll do it. That'll move the sticks first and 10. So Lawrence doing what they've done all night, pounding the football for big, big gains every time. Yeah, so many options for Lawrence as well. They have six players that have carried the ball all at least twice, and they have four players that have carried it at least six times. First and ten from the 47. Hamlin under center. Handoff. Second man through big hole, 45, and a first down again. For a Lawrence running back. That one was Carter. That was Carter right to the stick. Give him 10. And a first down there for Colton Carter, the junior running back. Yeah, he's got 113, 16th rushing first down in this game from Lawrence. First and 10 Bulldogs. They are at the 41. From the shotgun, that is Santone. Not much. To about the 40, maybe inside the 40, Jackson Veyu on the tackle. Yeah, I think just a gain of one there. Carter kind of got hit as soon as he got up to the line of scrimmage. Was that Carter? Yeah. Okay. One yard pickup, second and nine. But again, Hamlin in the first half only attempted five passes, completed two of them, and they were up 27 to seven. Threatening to go up another score. Obviously, time ran out, but they were in in the red zone. Second and nine here from the 40. Hamlin calling signals on her center. Going to throw it. No, he's not. He's going to run it right side. Breaks inside to the 35, and Hamlin is out of bounds at the 32. Give him nine as he flashed out. And kept the football. And, again, the holes are huge, and the backs are cruising through them. Worth noting that uh, they marked that one still, despite it being nine, that's short. So it is third down for Lawrence. Third and one. Only the second third down they've had. Certainly two down territory for the Bulldogs. Two tight ends. Three in the backfield. Handoff and a first down and more. 
Back down to the 27. That was Carter. So Colton Carter on the carry. Picks up five. First and 10. Tomorrow, it's Belfast at Winslow. From Winslow, game time, 1 o'clock. AJ and I will be there for the call. Hand off. Another huge, huge, huge hole all the way to the 10. Maybe inside the 10 or at the 10. That one, Wilson, just Jeez. lodging this Rams defense. Yep. Gavin Wilson just with a huge hole. The senior just rumbling down, and it is goal to go. First and goal at the nine officially. At Seven and a half left in the half. 23 yards there. That put him over the century mark. They pound it up the gut, does Lawrence, and it's to the five. Looked like it was San, either Santone. San, Santone or Martin. Yep, it was Santone. Give him four. Second and goal at the five. Jeez. Seven minutes to go in the third. Lawrence just just a battering. Batter, yeah. <laughs> That's the exact word. Look at that. Into the end zone, touchdown, just as easy as can be. A five yard score, and it's 33 to 7. There's Carter. That's his first score of the game. So Carter, a five yard run. Lawrence goes 80. Comes at 5.06. And Craig for the conversion. Hamlin holds again. He yanked it, and again he missed it. Wide left. Plenty of leg, but he pulled it. Two missed extra points, but it's about the only mistake besides, I think, an early fumble for Lawrence. Yeah, it's a night where missed extra points don't look like they're going to factor in. And for Lawrence now, six different ball carriers have touched the rock. Five of them have touchdowns. Quite a performance and quite a show of depth. Lawrence goes 80 for the score, 33-7. to seven. With 6.54 to go in the third, a lot of football to be played. And Lawrence has got to be over 400 yards rushing. Yeah, they were at three, what did I say? At halftime, it was 318. And they didn't throw the ball, so just right. so then if it's 80 yards, yeah. then it would just be shy, yep. 394. Yep. Like you said at halftime, a realistic chance to hit the 500 mark. All right, Craig to kick off. Surgeon is back on the near side. I think that is either noise or Demons on the far side. It's going to be Surgeon at the 16. 20. Outside, and just not much room, and a late hit. No flag thrown right at the sideline. They say it was clean, so Surgeon is all right, and he is out of bounds. As Surgeon trying to get to the sideline, you understand why with his speed, but Lawrence was had outside pursuit. Would have liked to see him cut that back. I think yeah. his teammates had a lane for him. Line of scrimmage, the 34. So Lawrence up 33-7, to seven and... Coney will take over first and 10 from their own 34. Hand off St. On. St. On's right side bumped, spins, and is only able to get to about the 36. Yeah, St. On's took a hard hit on the hip there as he was trying to cut that upfield. Second and nine. No rushing uh, for Coney. Five, seven carries, eight yards. 34 yard line, excuse me, 35 yard line, second down and nine. Morin back to throw, and a whistle just as the snap hit his hands. And a flag false. is down. It is a false procedure start. call, false start on Lawrence. Not what you need as you're trying to play catch-up. And the f unfortunate thing, Mike, for Coney is I think they've had their opportunities. Obviously, you lose the fumble deep. 
you missed the big shot. I thought the fourth down, I thought they got, obviously it was close. Refs say no. That was at the, the chance to close out the half. So it's second and 14 from the 34 for Coney. Snap to Morin. Has plenty of time. Left side, Surgeon open too high. Incomplete. The coverage there by Colby Neto on Parker Surgeon. Yeah, he had him there, obviously a little bit high. Needs to, I think, deliver that just a little bit sooner, too, to give Surgeon a little real estate to kind of go up and come down with it. 5.59 to go in the third. 33-7, Lawrence. Surgeon wide to the left. Slot man out there is Flynn. Morin back to throw. Again, time over the middle. It's almost picked, and then it's almost picked on the deflection. Almost picking that off on the deflection for the Lawrence Bulldogs, Braden Littlefield, who has a fumble recovery earlier. That one skimmed like a rock on a pond. Yeah, nice job there. He undercut the route. I don't think Morin saw him. So Morin will punt, bat to return for Lawrence. Gavin Wilson standing at his own 27. Morin will get rid of it near the 20. Snap is good. Good kick. And got a hold of that one, too. You see the respect there. Wilson just backed off. Yep, and lets it go. It takes a Coney bounce, and right at the 30-yard line is the end of its journey. And it is first and 10. For Lawrence with the ball again with a 33-7 lead. Okay. 39-yard punt. I bet again they're going to run. <laughs> Nostradamus at work here beside me in the booth. <laughs> I feel good about this this bet. I get it. They had half. They had carried it 35 times. I mean, that's another record to look up. What's the record for most carries in a game? Yeah, we're going to have to do some research uh, between tonight and tomorrow to figure this out. First and 10 from the 30. Michael Hamlin brings him out. Wilson. Around the left side after the pitch, goes up the sidelines and is over the 35, 37, maybe the 38. Solid. On first down, a gain of about seven. He's uh, quickly catching up to Carter for the rushing lead for Lawrence. Now he's up to 114. Carter's at 124. Second and three. From the 38, Lawrence taking all the time that they can. Back judge, of course, keeps the time on the field. Hand off to the fullback. Not much there, but might be enough to get the first. Uh, Santone, I think, basically fell forward for it. Yes, no, yes. Paul McCarty says yes. We're, again, Mike, Lawrence... Uh, 33 points, driving here again in the third quarter. They've been in third down twice. Yeah, just huge chunks of running. Just completely, just a, a, uh, not behind the chains, ahead of the chains again and again and again. First and 10 from the 40. Very tight formation. Man in motion, I believe that's Roy. Roy around the left side. And Roy to about the 45. I believe that's 43. Yeah. If you're just tuning into our video stream, you can tell the Lawrence uniforms are difficult to see when it comes to the numbers. Yeah, that was Roy. You could look, got a little, uh, Darren Sproles wore 43, didn't he? Yes. I wonder if that was his favorite player. Darren Sproles, what a great little scat back for. The Saints, the Chargers, he played for a lot of teams. Did yeah. he play for Philadelphia, I think too? he played for Philly for a yep. stretch. Good for fantasy teams, oh. too. You could make a case as a punt returner as they pitch it out to the right side in a huge hole around the corner to the 40, to the 35, whoops the balls out, and Coney may be on it. A big gain and a fumble for sure. And Lawrence came up with it. It was on the recovery. I think it was Roy. Who was on the carry? They're bringing it back upfield, so there must be a penalty. 
And I guess it had to have been a hold. So Wilson was on the carry. Right, okay. Flynn popped that out. And yeah, yeah, I think it was Roy. You're right on the, the recovery. So Wilson, Wilson carry, Flynn forced fumble. It is holding. Roy recovers. So beautiful run, nice fumble recovery. Doesn't count. Never mind. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Roy, though, obviously, with the hustle play. Second and five. Spot foul makes it second and five. No, it's second and 12. Handoff. This is Roy around the left side to the 45. Has big yardage. He might have the first down. He does. And more. He kind of twinkle-toed the sideline, and it paid off. They will move the sticks again to the 44. That's a 19-yard run. Yep. He's got 41 yards on four carries <laughs> with a touchdown as well. Just running, with, He was running with a convoy, too. You average 10 yards a carry. You average 10 yards. You, you get my drift. Yeah. That is what is happening for this Lawrence team. First and 10-44. Roy in motion inside the counter handoff. And the Bulldogs to the 40, it appears. A gain of about four. That was 20. All right. Santone. That was Maddox Santone. So it will be second down and six. A running clock, 2.20 to go in the third. Seems like Lawrence has had the ball the entire half. Yeah, that's it. Well, I mean, Coney goes down on the opening drive, fumbles in the end zone, and basically I think they go three and out the next drive. Roy in motion right up the gut to the fullback and a huge, huge hole and another Lawrence first down. That was Martin. So <laughs> Gage Martin shreds. The Coney defense. And it is a first and 10 at the 28. So what, 12 for him? Yep. That Coney defense is some kind of tired. Yeah. Yes. They've been chasing ball carriers all night. Yeah, now three different ball carriers for Lawrence have at least 10 rushes. First and 10 from the 28. Roy sweep left on the jet sweep, avoids a tackle, and is able to push his way down to near the 20-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice play there. He stepped out of a tackle and turned what was probably no gain, maybe a loss of one into, I think, about seven. Well, they put him down at the 21-yard line. So, yep, you're right, A.J. Gain of seven, second and three. There have been a ton of these tonight. Again, Lawrence has only been in third down twice. And we're that's almost a, through the third quarter. That's an incredible stat. First and ten from, excuse me, second and three from the 21. Sweep right. First down. It was either that Wilson. Was ten. It was ten? Yeah. All right, that was Jaden Burnham, a new ball carrier who got a first down. How many guys have carried the ball tonight? Seven? That was the seventh. Okay, that's what I thought. First and ten. Clock at 42 seconds. They are at the 17. First and ten. Lawrence leading 33-7 to seven in the red zone. They send Luntz wide to the left. Hamlin has not been in the shotgun in the second half. Jet sweep left side. This has been big all night by Roy. Not much there, though. Comparatively speaking, I might add. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, you'll take a four or five yard game all the time, and that's about what he got, but comparatively speaking, meaning they've been getting about 10, and that'll run the clock out. We are done the third quarter, and we have got a domination situation. Score after three is Lawrence 33. Coney 7, you're watching and listening to high school football on the place for local sports. Sports Radio 1160 WSKW, the score. Nokian Tires, available at 201 Tire Battery and Service, Route 201, Vassalboro. Your complete auto center. Mechanics you can trust. Nokian Tires to keep you safe on the road. Plus, 201
Avon Tire Battery and Service is a state inspection station. They have batteries and accessories, including custom battery cables available. And of course, those great Nokian tires. 201 Tire Battery and Service, Route 201, Vassalboro. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. Maybe your existing system is failing or it's a new house lot. You need new installation. Call PJ Diggs. They can bring their site evaluator to design the right septic system. Headed to camp? Ditch the outhouse for a newly installed system. How about a septic system for your campsite? Imagine your own private campground. Already have a septic design? PJ Diggs can install it for you. Call 431-4299. That's 431-4299. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. One 31 Hinkley Road, Canaan. Mike Pilot, AJ Knight, back here at Fuller Field in Augusta, along with our videographer, Galen Neal. We are in the fourth quarter, and the Lawrence Bulldogs are in the driver's seat, driving again for another score. Perhaps it is second and five for the Bulldogs from the 12. They continue to pound it and go left side off left tackle. That was Wilson. And Wilson on the carry. Thank you, A.J., for the eyes. I got you. And it'll be third and short. Tonight's game, get to that in a second, as Lawrence goes on the quick count. And turning and wheeling into the end zone, I think that's Colton Carter for it the is. score. You are correct. So Carter goes 12. Yeah, so they gave Wilson one on the run before. And so Carter goes, what, 11 or, tw excuse me, 12, like yeah, you I'm going to put it 12. His second TD. All right, Craig trying to straighten things out after missing two in a row. And that one looks to be good, and it is with 11.34 to go in the ball game. It is 40 to 7. I tied, uh, uh, unofficial until I can add them up, but I tallied up the rushing statistics for Lawrence through three. If you would like to guess, or I can just give them to you. Uh, 462. Wow. 54 rushes, 468. Whoa! Uh, I am Nostradamus. You are Nostradamus. And then they just pile on, what, about 13 more there. But, yeah, four, unofficially 468 rushing yards through three quarters. So a legit chance to get 500. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wilson's got 115. Carter's got 136, and then Roy 53, Santone 65, and Hamlin 60. That was a 70-yard drive. Tonight's game brought to you by the Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, the dealer with no dock fees, where cars and trucks always cost you less. They are online, cmautogroup.com. So Lawrence will kick off again. Aaron Craig. Has it teed up. Sergeant and Demons, and they go short. And uh -oh. that's a live ball if it's in bounds. I think it made its way out. A stubby little kick there that is ruled out of bounds at the 34. Or is it? Did he touch it? Trying to see here on the If they're going to put it there, he had to touch it. Oh, the Lawrence player there, I can't see the number in the replay, slid and I think knocked it out of bounds. Okay. But that's a dangerous play there because yeah. Coney was trying to see if it, that was Jack Shabbat, I believe, was waiting to see if it was going to bounce out of bounds, and Lawrence had a chance right. there it's to recover. A, you know, it's a free ball. It's yeah. essentially an onside kick downfield. Yeah. So a little bit of a little break there for the Rams. All right, Coney, first and 10 from the 33. Down by 33, pass in the right flat. It is caught out there by Killian Arnold. Has a first down as he turned up field on the sidelines, and they spot him out at the 45, so move the sticks for Coney. Yeah, this game, I think, for Coney, obviously just bad matchup, bad timing at this given time with their injuries. For Coney, I think it's a little bit of the case, too, where, you know, with a sophomore quarterback, the season sort of a development in progress as he gets more comfortable. Then you take away a bunch of his weapons, so now you kind of restart some of that process over. First and 10 from the 45. Two to the left, one to the right. 
Single setback. They hand it off to the running back and a rare run by Coney. The Rams over the 50-yard line and the back to the 48. I think a flag, I think there's a face mask coming too. That was uh, Veyu. Caden Veyu on the carry. So, yeah, a flag down. Looks like a grab of the mask. And they marked him, what, at the 40? Yes, sir. Yeah. So they marked him at the, f oh, yeah, you're right, 48. 48 so, yeah. what, seven? Yeah, seven and then the penalty. And it's just an inadvertent, so it's five. But that gives them the first down. First and 10, Coney at the Lawrence 43. 10 15 left in the fourth quarter. It is 40 to 7, Lawrence. Trips left, one right. Lauren calls for the ball. Out in the flat, that is Veyu, and Veyu doesn't get much. Check that. That's Anderson Noyes, I believe, 28. Yeah, I want to see if they called that completed. Noyes caught that and then kind of immediately hit the turf, and the ball hit the turf as well. Comes up Gimpy. Uh, walks it off. Yep, yeah, he lost the yardage. They're going to give him the catch. Better, better off to drop that. Second and 11. Do I not see Surgeon in the game? I don't believe so. Okay. So three is not out there. And the handoff, they're going to run the football here. Veyu again. Yep, Veyu on the carry for a couple. Veyu with five. Trying to see if I see him on the sideline. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah, there he is. You see him in the right of the golf cart right here between 69 and Flint 5. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. Good eyes. Yeah. I mean, with the game out of reach, yeah. you can't. With the injuries they've had at their skill positions, too, last thing you want is three to go down. Third and six from the 40. Another run. Sweep to the right. The ball carrier, Caden Veyu. Lawrence is all over it. I think for Lawrence, Morin's out there. See if you can get him some reps, but I think for them, they're just trying to get out of this one, too, before any, you know, you don't want anybody going down. Yeah, it really looks, well, as soon as I was going to say, Sergeant looks done, he goes over. I thought maybe he was going over to the coach, but he just going over to talk to a teammate. So he may be done for the night with 8.20 to go, and his team down by 33 points. More in from the gun. Left side ball caught. The catch made, I believe, by Noise. Yeah, I think that was Noise, but it's short. So it is short of the first down, and we will get a change of possession. Yeah, credit to Lawrence, too, and I think this is a more testament, I think uh, less so to their defense, more testament to the time of possession. Surgent had 10 catches at half. He has one in the second half, and they didn't sit him, I think, until this possession. Shut him right down. Yep. Meanwhile, Lawrence, like we said, now a legitimate chance here. I think they're about about approximately 20 yards away from 500 yards on the ground. First and 10 Bulldogs from the 35. Hamlin in the shotgun. Nope, he's under center. My bad. Sweep left. Blockers out in front. And the hole gone through. You could see that one develop. And a nice job by the back to wait for the hole to be there. I think that was 26, 28. Well, it was either Gabe Fairbrother, Fairbrother 28, or Cam Blodgett, 26. Ah, oh, Lord. I am going to give it to David Packard when I see him the next time. <laughs> I'm going to see <laughs> it because I think he's uniforms. still out there. So gain a six on that one. I'll try You've got to put some blue highlights around the edge of the numbers so we can see who it is. On second and four, they sweep it right, and Coney defends it well. That was 27. That was Diesel Cox on the stop, a freshman, D-I-E-S-E-L. I love that name. He's on the all-name team, Diesel Cox. Love it. Uh, I believe, and I believe the first carry was 28. All right, third and three. Lawrence at the 43-yard line. 
Hamlin waiting for the 10-second signal. And maybe he waited too long. Uh, it looks like it with that hanky coming in right behind his feet. Well, uh, that, see, that that, that uh, up judge said false start, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did, and Paul McCarty agrees. So it ends up being a procedure. Which Seven, at, Yeah, seventh penalty for Lawrence, 42 yards. Which at this point is certainly no big deal. Six minutes to go. And it goes to third and eight. Third down and eight, Hamlin standing there, again, looking at the back judge, waiting for the signal. The turn, the handoff, fullback, 40, 45, midfield. Lawrence with a first down as they keep on chugging along. I believe that was 25. <laughs> All right, welcome to Dawson Moore. Into the stable of Lawrence running backs. Everybody's going to get a carry tonight. He got, what, 14 yards? Yep. First and 10 from the 49. Jeez, they already used enough running backs. The numbers are impossible to see. Now you're getting into the deep end of the roster. <laughs> First and 10 from the 49. Hamlin milking the clock. There it is. The 10-second signal. And they go fullback. He lost the ball. Did he really? I lost it in a maze of players there, and I think Coney has come away with it. Lawrence put it on the ground, and the Rams have recovered. Yeah, that was 25 again. He picked up a... Now, uh, why is the clock running? That's a good question because it's not mercy rule. Right. Clock is running. It's only a 33-point game. I thought it was 35 you had to get to. I thought it was 35 also. Well, we're going to have to ask about that. In any event, until we get an answer, it's running. So Coney, first and 10 from their own 47. Lauren in the shotgun. That's a new QB. Yep, it is a new QB, and it is... Noise, isn't it? Yep, it's Anderson Noise, the freshman, wearing 28. So Parker Morin, again, B.L. Lippert, just not wanting to risk anybody, and that's a good call by him. Yeah, that was on the carry. That was uh, Devontae Raymond. A gain of a yard, second and nine with a running clock for unknown reasons. Second down and nine. Anderson Noyes, the quarterback. Noyes is a freshman. Noyes on a keeper. He's got speed. Noyes to the outside. Look at him. Flash all the way down to the 36-yard line. 16 yards for Anderson Noyes and a first down. Hey, how about that? It's a high five from his coach, B.L. Lippert. Because it also looked like there was a little bit of confusion there. It looked like he wanted to hand it off initially. First and 10. Coney at the 36 with pretty much the JVs in there. They got three to the left for Noise. And the handoff goes right up the gut to Devontae Raymond. And Raymond gets pushed back big time. Now that one got strung out really well. Raymond also... Uh, looks like not much of a uh, east-west running back, more of a north-south kind of guy. Right. He's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's out of the game. And Noise, I guess, has to leave for something. And B.L. Lippert says he's bleeding. He could burn a timeout, couldn't he? I mean, I, I don't know if you're going to. He could, to, yeah. I mean, 156 left, so. That's uh so Watson, I think, is going to come in at quarterback. Bryce Watson, number six, yeah. for those of you watching our video stream. So Noise has to leave because I think he's got a yeah. scrape or a he, cut. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, actually, too. Yeah, good shot there by Galen to zoom in. He got a scrape on his right elbow. Second and 11 for Bryce Watson with a buck 30 to go. 
And the turn and the handoff, and Riley Mooney, a freshman. Absolutely hammer. Yep. Yeah, One ten left. Who's three more? Third and long. Bryce Watson. He better, he's going to air this out. Let's see. Nope. Nah. Going to run it. And a good gainer there. That is actually noise, I believe, back in the game. Nope, it's not. It's 30. 39. <laughs> Landon Perry. Landon Perry, who's another freshman. So this is, what, the fourth quarterback we've seen for Coney? Technically, yeah. We've seen 79 running backs for Lawrence. 79. That was 17 yards. Nice gainer there by Landon Perry. They're sick. Yeah, 17. It is first and 10 from the 24. And Perry, again, this time Ooh. not so much. And that will run the clock out. And this one is over. The final score tonight from Fuller Field in Augusta, a romp for the Lawrence Bulldogs. Lawrence 40 and Coney 7. The post-game show is next. You're listening and watching to high school football on the place for local sports. Sports Radio 1160, WSKW, The Score. Are you fed up with high prices at the pump? Do monthly utility bills drain your wallet? If you're nodding your head yes... Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. The better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Plus, a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. Over 30 years ago, Paul and John Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity, where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus, here for you today and through all points of your life. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy because it's all about taking care of people. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone and Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love to have a gas stove or fireplace designed for your home? Let Somerset Stone and Stove design and install a Regency gas stove or fireplace that is just right for you. Let us customize your Regency gas stove or fireplace while you enjoy the beauty and warmth. Visit Somerset Stone and Stove in Oakland. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Miss State Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. 
I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits MidState Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidStateUSA.com. That's MidStateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote Tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan. Sales and service by a family who cares. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. But the tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. You gotta be here to experience it. Randy Belanger purchased the Harry J. Smith Company over seven years ago, knowing his customers expected the same quality service as they have always received for over 100 years. With 10 bays and 12 employees, we can have most of your repairs done the same day. Whether it's on your car, truck, or RV, we can handle it. Just call us and let us go to work for you. The Harry J. Smith Company, 13 Sanger Avenue in Waterville, keeping your vehicle on the road for over 100 years and doing it the right way. Oh, please start. You wouldn't allow your car to bypass its maintenance, would you? Hey, Jen, would you look this up on your computer? Oh, wish I could. This office computer is so slow. How about your computer maintenance? Trust the pros at Computer Improvements. They can come on site or stop by. Handling general maintenance, antivirus protection, hardware upgrades, and Computer Improvements can set you up with solid-state hardware memory, giving your operating system wicked fast response time due to less moving parts. So your day isn't like this. Oh. Contact Computer Improvements to schedule your service today. Computer Improvements, downtown Skowhegan. Mike Feiler and AJ Knight, along with Galen Neal, our videographer back here at Fuller Field in Augusta as you watch the Coney Rams walk off the field rather dejectedly after being beaten tonight by the Lawrence Bulldogs 40-7, to a game that Lawrence dominated from start to finish. Lawrence scored 40 points, just seven of them in the first quarter. First touchdown of the game came on a quarterback keeper by Michael Hamlin, a nine-yard touchdown run, a 66-yard drive capped off. Aaron Craig with the extra point. Lawrence up 7 to nothing at the end of one. Bulldogs increase their lead to 14 to nothing on a six-yard touchdown run by Wilson early in the second quarter after going 63 yards. Craig's kick made it 14 to nothing. Then Coney got on the board their only score of the night, a 29-yard touchdown pass. Parker Morin to Parker's surgeon for the score, Foster with the extra point. We thought maybe we had a game 14-7. to We thought wrong because Lawrence scored all the points the rest of the way. Maddox Santone, a 7-yard touchdown run. Craig with the extra point, 21-7. to Preston Roy with a 10-yard run. Craig missed the extra point. It was 27-7. to We flipped the page and go to the fourth quarter. Lawrence goes 80 yards. Carter, a 5-yard touchdown run to make it 33-7. to And then another Lawrence touchdown. And, well, I think when A.J., tallies up the numbers, which I believe he has, yes. aside from 40 points, I think we might have had a 500-yard rushing night tonight. So first up, Coney. Parker Morin, I thought, played pretty well, and you could, I think you could see the lack of chemistry with his backup receivers. Missed some deep balls, but 19-26, 203 yards, touchdown, no turnovers, no sacks. Coney is a team, 16 rushes, 48 yards, two fumbles lost, including the big one by St. Odge to open up the third quarter. Um Surgeon, 11 catches, 89 yards, touchdown. He lost the fumble, and then he only had one catch in the second half. Yeah. Two for seven on third downs, 0 of 2 on four. Two penalties, 10 yards. Problem is uh, it just you know had a couple chances they couldn't take advantage of, and then game script just kind of got away from him. For Lawrence, highlight the two running backs. Carter, 18 carries, 136 yards, two scores, a lost fumble. Wilson, 11 carries, 115 yards, a touchdown. As a team, 60 carries, 501 yards, wow. six touchdowns, three fumbles, but only two lost. 501 yards. 501 yards. I, I honestly can't remember the last time that I did a game here in Maine that a team rushed for 500 yards. I'm going to have to do some research tonight when I get it's home. It's got to be up there. And, again, this is the astounding thing, right? So they rushed that many times. 60 carries is outstanding, too. <laughs> but they score 40 points. They got to third down. Three times they picked up two of them. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Three third down Three. situations the whole game. That 
sums the whole thing up right there. There's not much else to say. Coney depleted, and it showed tonight. And Lawrence took him two and 47. Could have been worse, that's for sure. Yeah, I think uh, you did. Uh, Lawrence lost two fumbles. They had a fourth down attempt they didn't get. And, you know, it's just one of those things, a couple bad matchup at a bad time for Coney. Yep. Yep. And then I think you, you talk about you have some of those players – if, you know, it's not the backup receivers running some of those deep pass plays, you make a catch all of a sudden, is it something where instead of being 27-7 to at half, it's, you know, 27-14, you got a chance to cut it to one score in the third quarter and kind of get the crowd back into it. But, you know, you, play, you have to play who's on your schedule, and unfortunately injuries are part of the game. They are indeed. So onward we go to Winslow tomorrow. Winslow and... The Belfast Lions getting it on at Jerry Poolin Memorial Field will be their 1 o'clock kickoff on the year with their pregame about 12.50. So that puts a wrap on it for us here tonight, for Galen Neal, our videographer, for A.J. Knight. I'm Mike Violet saying so long from Fuller Field in Augusta. Our final score here tonight on the score, the Lawrence Bulldogs 40 and the Cody Rams 7. This high school sports presentation on the place for local sports, The Score, has been brought to you by Central Maine Community College, Central Maine Motors, Hammond Lumber Company, Mid-State Machine, Whittemore and Sons, Somerset Stone and Stove, 201 Tire Battery and Service, P.J. Diggs, Renewal by Anderson, Assistance Plus, Joseph's Market, The Harry J. Smith Company, and by computer improvements. For all your local sports action, keep it right here on The Place for Local Sports, The Score.